Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Sean Green Show. Whatever, Sean Green, how are you doing on this on this beautiful, nice crisp, maybe nice crisp, um, nice, nice crisp, nice crisp on um, Monday morning. I know some people got to some people got to go back to work, back to work. Some people dreading it. Weekend went by, we went by, weekend went by way, way, way too fast, basically whatnot. Yes, I'm rocking my Red Sox jersey, basically. Hey, it's the end of the first half of the season, the first half of the season. There's one thing I will say about baseball. It is way too long. A hundred and something games. I mean, damn. A hundred and something games. That is way, way, way too long. A hundred and something games. I mean, man, that's long. That is just, Jesus Christ, that's long. That is just long, man. For real, for real. That is just way too long. For real, I mean, damn. But, um, hey, first half of the season, a lot of shockers going down towards the end. I, one thing I've always said about baseball, it is, it is basically, it is basically a marathon, not a sprint. And it's not how you start, it's how you finish, for real. First, first off, first, I would get the beers out the way. I would, I would, I would get the scores, basically. You had the Braves, you had the Braves beat the Padres 6-3. You had the Blue Jays beat the Diamondbacks 8-7. You had the Angels, Angels beat the Mariners 3-2. You had the Cubs beat the Cardinals 8-3, that's what's up. You had the Pirates beat the White Sox 9-4. The Brewers beat the Nationals 9-3, that's what's up. And the Rangers beat the Astros 4-2, ooh. And you had the Tigers beat... Beat the Dodgers four to three. So the tie it's 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 just that the Dodgers basically limp is like like they limp towards the end of the first half. Yo, for real, for real, for real, for real. And you got two pitchers injured. One of your pitchers is out for the season, one not because oh yeah, surgery on his on his own esophagus. Another was on the on injured list. I mean, I don't know about the Dodgers, man. For real, you got the Marlins. Marlins beat the Reds. Three to two, and the Rockies beat the Mets eight to five. Ended the Mets, ended the Mets winning streak, man. Mets is on a winning streak, but still, forty nine and forty six, basically forty nine forty six. Where you go, Mets? You had the Rays beat the Cardinals two nothing. Rays are at five hundred. That is good. That's good for Tampa Bay Rays five hundred. Get that later, basically. And Red Sox, Red Sox, baby. We beat the Royals five. We beat the Royals five to four. That's what's up. That's what's up. And Athletics beat the Phillies eighteen to three. Damn. Damn. Eighteen to three. And you got the Orioles beat the Yankees sixty five. Now here I'm gonna say about this game right here. I'm sorry, you never said this game. The Yankees had this game. The Yankees had this game. I mean. The Yankees literally had this game. The Yankees was up going into the bottom, going into the bottom of the ninth. Going to the bottom of the ninth, five to three. You was up five to three. All you had to do was get three outs. Three outs. Your second baseman couldn't could, could grab an easy ground ball for for a double play. I mean, and then I'm happy. I, mean, I see why. I see why the front office of Red Sox got rid of Alex Verdugo. Couldn't chase down an easy fly out. He somehow tripped over a fellow, fellow, fellow of his own shoes. Basically, one not. Two more runs scored in. I mean, what the f for real? Yankees. I mean, damn. Getting up losing that game, losing that game six to five, a game where you should have won. You should have won, but you lost, basically whatnot. Because of what basically whatnot. Because of your um your inf because of your, because of your players. And all you had to do was get three off. You couldn't even I mean, geez, I mean it's 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 just and 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 here and basically again in the first half in, in the first half basically and here, are the, here, here are the standings. Basically, 
here are the standings basically right now. I'm right now in the AL East. In the um, AL East right now, Yankees are still a game behind Baltimore. A game behind Baltimore. You needed that game. But in the season, a game behind Baltimore. You've been four and six the last ten games. You in the first half, basically fifty eight and forty, which is still not that bad, but still. Baltimore, here it is, Baltimore 58 and 38 right now, leading the division. There's one thing I got to say this. Here is the Yankees spend over $100 million of dent sum on players, and you're and, 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 and see the end right now, you're in the wild card. While um, the division leaders are Baltimore, and they spend 10 times less than that. That is sad. That is, <clears throat> that is damn sad. For real, for real. For real, for real. You got Cleveland right now, which is, I'm at the right now, Cleveland's shocking everybody right now. Cleveland right now leading the um, AL, AL Central at 58-37. But I'm going to say this, though. Cleveland been strong in the last 10 games. They've been 4 6 the last 10 games, basically. But they still got a decent side lead over Minnesota, which over, over Minnesota Twins, which are 54-42. And Minnesota's only four and a half games back. Minnesota 64 in the last 10 games. We're going to see how Minnesota is going to rebound in the second half. But again, Cleveland's, Cleveland again, Cleveland's shocking everybody looking good here. For real. And then you got the NL West. NL West right now, which is starting to get kind of tight, as usual. Right now, you got Seattle basically with a leading that, leading that division at 52 46 by a game. By a game. Seattle in 5 5 the last 10 games. Houston, I got to give it to Houston. Houston started out really slow, really slow, way, way below 500, but they had an excellent, they had an excellent, excellent month, I'm going to say about a month and a half. They rebounded, they did do a damn good. Houston been 64 in the last 10 games. Right now, they're 50 and 46. They're only a game behind Houston. Again, Houston still trying to make some moves, basically, went up by trade deadline. Trade, trade the line again. There's, there's rumors. Again, there's rumors still, still going around that they want Luis Servino and Pete Alonso. I'm gonna say this again. Say this again. I'm hoping the Mets don't do it. I'm hoping the Mets don't do it. Even though those two moves right there will gradually help the Houston Astros because Luis Servino's been doing damn good this year. Luis Servino been doing good. Has has been doing good this year. You also got Pete Alonso. Basically, Pete Alonso. One of the top this year, especially my man Pete. Even though I'm a Red Sox fan, but I like Luis Savino and I like Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo, yo, Pete Alonzo's the man for real. I, I, oh, I love them two dudes. I love them two dudes. Uh, I love them two dudes. They're one of my favorite baseball players. Favorite baseball players. Trust me, tr trust me. I wouldn't mind rocking the, I would rock, rocking the jersey, but all y'all Met fans keep buying on them, buying on Luis Savino, the uh, Pete Alonzo, the Pete Alonzo jerseys, man. That's that's why I can't rock them, but. I'm hoping the Mets don't do it. And speaking, and and speaking of the Mets right now, even, even speaking of Mets right now, even though the Mets are 49 and 46, the 12 and a half games by Philly ain't nobody catching Philly. I'm sorry to say this, ain't nobody catching Philly. Philly right now 62 and 34. They're the only. They got the best record in the majors right now. They got a comfortable lead right now for real. But I'm gonna say this though. I'm uh, hey 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 I, 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 but, 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 but I'm gonna say this though, I'm saying this though the Mets it's season end right now the Mets will make the Mets will make it in right now but as a wild card that's the only way the Mets gonna make it in as a wild card and if I'm the New York Mets I'm gonna say this if there's a chance for you to still make it in as a wild card don't trade Pete Alonso and don't trade Luis Savino don't do it don't do it for real don't do it for real. yes I know. Pete Alonzo's contract ends at the end of the season. I know it's a gamble. It really is. It really, really is. But if I'm the New York Mets, man, the chance for me to make the playoffs, I'm going to take that gamble. I really am going to take that gamble for real. We did it again for real. I really would for real. Because for real, Pete, for real, honestly, man, don't trade Pete. Especially since Pete Alonzo, he wants to stay a New York Met. He really does. He really, really does for real. Honestly, if hey, hey, honestly, if I'm the Mets, don't do it. Cause again, right now, again, play for the end right now. Pitch right now. Mets, Mets got that um last wild card spot, and behind them is Arizona by a game, 
and San Diego by a game and Pittsburgh by a game and a half. Like I said, the second half of the season is going to be very, very tight between the Mets, Arizona, San Diego, and Pittsburgh and San Francisco for that last for, for that last wild card spot. For real. It's going to be a fight for that wild card spot going into the second half of the season. And if I'm the New York Mets, what you do at trade deadline is going to make a difference. Whether you trade these two guys or not, because Houston wants them bad. Very bad. In a way, I don't blame Houston or not, because it could tip them a little bit forward. It really could. Especially since Verlander is having a decent year, for real, and a decent year when the Astros need one more person in that bullpen and need a power hitter on an infinite power hitter. And that's them two, that's them two they want, for real. From the Mets, don't do it. Please, just, 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 just don't. Like I said, Philly, like I said, Philly got the um, top wild card. Philly got, Philly got, Philly got the, um, the, the um, division lead by 62 and 34. Ain't nobody catching Philly. Ain't, uh, Philly had to have, uh, Philly's making the playoffs. Philly's going to have to have a historical collapse. For them not to make a freak run in the playoffs, for real. You're 62 and 33, got a struggle collapse. And behind them is Atlanta by eight games. And the Aces say they get a Mets by 12 and a half. So they have, but Atlanta's been good. Atlanta's been good the past um, 10 games, 6 and 4. And Milwaukee, and Milwaukee right now ends, ends, ends the um, first half of the season. Leading the division, what not? Leading the division, basically. They're 55, they're 55 and 42, basically. But. They've been sticking the last 10 games. They've been 3 7 the last 10 games. Even though they have a four and a half game lead above St. Louis. But St. Louis has been, St. Louis has been playing, playing a tad bit better. They're 50 46. They're 50 46. And they're 5 5 the last 10 games. St. Louis has, has been playing better. And you got here, you got the Dodgers. Who limped their way into the end of the first half of the season. They got a lot of injuries. They got some injuries basically went into their bullpen. Right now, right now the Dodgers right now are fifty and forty one, fifty fifty one, fifty forty one. They were three and seven the last ten games basically, ten games basically, and and even though they got seven game lead, seven game lead basically above Arizona um in that West, they're gonna win that West division. But the thing is this, when they hit the playoffs, I'm I'm not sure about the Dodgers. I'm not sure about the Dodgers basically what not because I'll be honest with you, I will not be sure about the Dodgers basically. When it comes to the playoff, because Milwaukee can beat them, Philly can beat them. Basically, a lot of the teams can beat you. Why not? Because Dodgers have not been playing good. Your pitching staff's been getting hurt. Basically, what not? Basically, even though again, just like the Yankees, one through nine, you got good hitters. Yes, I give you that. But your pitching staff has been ass. Your pitching staff has been ass for for real ass. It has. Just like your Crosstown buddies over there, some Crosstown buddies. Across the way, the Yankees, one through nine, you've been hitting. Yes, you have. You've been hitting. I give you that. Slugging the ball off the ball, off the ball yes. But 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 your pitching's been butt. You need you need to strengthen that damn bullpen, especially the Dodgers. What went out because if you don't strengthen that bullpen, you ain't getting past Atlanta. You is not getting past Philly, especially Philly. Philly, I mean. Mm-hmm. After, I mean, even though I changed, I changed my mind. Even going to begin the season, I was like Dodgers this year, Dodgers this year. I changed my mind. I apologize. I'm changing my mind. I'm going with Philly. Philly right now. So Philly, man. Philly. Mm. Philly. Again, I'm gonna say this again. We could have it. To, it, it could be. It, this could be Philly year this year. I mean, I was talking with my friend. I was talking with my friends when I when I, when I was at the parade, parade. Basically, they were, they were sitting there laughing at me. When I said, "But it could happen." Philadelphia Phillies win the World Series. Philadelphia Eagles win the Super Bowl. And the Philadelphia Seventy Sixers NBA Finals. Just imagine. All three teams. All three teams improved, especially. Hey, Philly looking, Philadelphia Phillies looking good right now. The Philadelphia Eagles greatly improved, basically. They have my man Saquon Barkley. I mean, Jesus Christ, Saquon Barkley. And they got and they got receivers down there. The Philadelphia 76ers, Jesus. 
You had Paul George. You Paul George. You, you brought back Kyle Lowry went out for the bench, and you got some good. You got some good role players for that damn bench. Basically, it could happen. It could happen, and if it does, if it does, be the person went up from Connecticut who who likes who, who from Connecticut who's right in New York. I'll never hear the end of it. You know, Philly. You know, Philly. Oh my God, we will never hear it. We will never hear the end of it if it does happen. We would never hit the end if it does happen. It could happen. It could happen. Footy, footy, footy could sweep. Footy could win all, all three. It could happen. It could. It really could. Trust me. Why? Trust me. But um, it 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 it, 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 really could happen. Basically, what not? It really could happen. Also, don't forget today at eight o'clock you got the home run derby. Basically. And these other guys, as we basically home run derby, you got Boham from Philly, you got Witt Jr. from Kansas City, you got Garcia, basically from Texas, Hernandez from the Dodgers, my man P. Alonzo from the Mets, I mean, Jose Ramirez from Cleveland, and Azuna from um, the Braves, and Hernandez, basically whatnot, from um, the Orioles. Out of this lineup, I'm not going to front. I'm going P. Alonzo. Even though, <clears throat> I will say this though, Jose Ramirez from Cleveland, he good. He hit home runs. But my favorite, my, my favorite to win the home run derby tonight is P. Alonzo. That's my favorite for real to win the home run derby tonight. It's real talk, P. Alonzo. I, 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 I think I think I think he can win. I think we'll win this year. One, uh, I think we'll win this year. Basically, we win this year. That's 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 what I'm picking for real. That's what, that's, that, I start picking. The home run derby is tonight at eight. It's tonight at eight o'clock, basically on um, ESPN. In case you want to check it out, tonight at eight o'clock ESPN. Instead of watching Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Raw is Monday Night Raw. It's supposed to be good tonight, basically. We we ripping back, basically whatnot. So it's it's going to be some. Mm. Also, they say um, Drew McIntyre is supposed to be back from suspension, basically. Asking me, Monday Night Raw should be keyword keyword, basically. Should be good tonight, for real, for real. Should be, um, should be good tonight, honestly. Should be, keyword, 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 should be, basically, what not, um, um, good tonight, man, for real. Keyword should be good tonight, for real. Also, um, Skippy, also, Skippy here is basically what not to, um, the, um, Skippy here is what not to, um, video games, basically. I didn't know, I didn't give you video games, basically. You, this is why, me, this is why I hate by Ubisoft. I already do. I'm gonna be dead honest. You got too many projects. You too. You you're doing too many projects. Pick one and take your time doing it. Even though I, sometimes I may criticize 2K, 2K and Rockstar, I may criticize them. But that's one thing I got to give respect. Got to give respect to 2K, to to 2K and Rockstar. They'll 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 they'll, they'll do a project. They'll do let's say for instance. They'll do let's say for instance. They'll do Grand Theft Auto Six. And they'll work on that one game for a long time to make sure it's done right. They'll say, oh, working on this, 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 And you spread yourself too, we do that, you spread yourself too thin. You work on one project on time, make sure you get it right, and then you release that, then you go to another project. Ubisoft, now they're saying, which I, hey, I'm happy. Ubisoft said, driver, Ubisoft said they're working on a new, basically, driver video game. Y'all remember Driver, basically, when I told you, you used to have PlayStation 2. Y'all remember Driver. <clears throat> Y'all remember Driver. Driver was a damn good video game. It really was. Driver, Driver, damn good video game. Driver, basically, how can I put it? Driver was a Grand Theft Auto clone. Grand Theft Auto clone, Grand Theft Auto clone, basically, whatnot. But, but, again, you're, but, but, again, you was in a car, basically, whatnot. That's all Driver was. Hey, I'm happy you bring it back. You brought it back for the PlayStation 3. Driver San Francisco, and it was a pretty it, it was a damn good game until Grand until Grand Theft Auto Four came until Grand Theft Auto Four came out. Then we all just forgot about Driver San Francisco. Then then a couple years after that, Five came out. It was like eee. yeah, for real, honestly for real. But um, hey, hey, if you can bring Driver back with with today up to date graphics, you get some people some people like me who know who Driver is. We'll play it for real, even though, even though me personally, I always looked at it as a GTA clone. But, but hey, but hey, it, but hey, it was always was a decent, always was basically 
a decent game, basically. One of the games where, again, I'll buy you the time till, um, Grand, until the Grand Theft Auto came out. That's how I look at it as. The same way I always told people when, uh, when um, Rise of the Ronin came out. For Rise of the Ronin came out. And Rise of the Ronin basically would not. Um, even right now, everybody will tell you it's the most, it's the most surprising game right now. Which is a game right now. Where I tell you, Rise of the Ronin basically uh, is basically to keep you occupied until Ghost of Shima 2 come out. And a lot of people will tell you it's a damn good game. It really is a damn good game. If you didn't pay, if you didn't play Rise of the Ronin basically would not. Um, Something's wrong with you, basically, or whatnot. Trust me, for real. Check it out. It is a very, 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 very good game, basically. And speaking of games, basically, whatnot, um, they released, basically, whatnot, the top 20, the, the, they released the top 18 best-selling games, both digital, both digital and physical games. That included add-on con add content and everything, basically, whatnot, right? Add-on content and everything, right? Dating. Remember, they 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 went they went back, basically. They went back, basically, when the PS5 first came out, basically, to, to, to be basically accurate. And guess what's number one? I'm going to read it right now. Number one, I, remember, I will post this on, on my uh, TikTok account, username Sean Green 80 on Word. Number one is Ghost of Tsushima. That's that's obvious. I always tell people when you if you was to ever if you're getting a PlayStation Five for the first time, make Ghost of Tsushima your very first game. I always tell to everybody. That's 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 a given. Number two shocks the crap out of me. Actually, it shouldn't it shouldn't really, but it does. The number two top selling game basically. Paper Mario and a Thousand Year Door for Nintendo Switch. Number two, Paper Mario. Number two. Wow. I was, but I will say this though. That's a damn hard ass damn game. I got that game. I'm sorry, mean, Jesus Christ. That's a hard ass game, Paper Mario. You, as a hard ass game. It really is for real. It really is. Number three, Call of Duty: Modern Warfare Three. Not because everybody bought it and sales went up. Everybody bought it. Everybody thought it was gonna be good and it wasn't. Yeah, number f number four, Hell Drivers Two. I never played that game. That's one game I never played. I got I after I get through my backlog, I will play that game. That's one game I have to get into. And, and get you. And number five, MLB The Show Twenty Four. Reason why people say, oh wow, oh the reason why MLB The Show number is 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 in top five. What did they say about MLB The Show? It gets better year after year after year after year. Unlike Madden, unlike 2K, it gets better year after year. That's why it's in the, that's why MLB, MLB 24 is in the top five. For real, for real. And number six, Sea of Thieves. Yep. Number seven, Minecraft. Number eight, Elden Ring. Number nine, Hogwarts Legacy. That's, that's Hogwarts Legacy. Yep. Number 10, Stellar Blade. I never played that game. That's one game I'll, I'll, I'll probably try to get into another that game. Fallout 4, number 11. Wow. Fallout 4, number 11. Probably because of the Amazon TV show. They say ever since the Amazon, the Devil the Fall, the, the fall show on Amazon, it sparked a lot of sales when they Fallout. Number 12, EA Sports FC 24. I'm trying to get into soccer. Soccer, basically, whatnot. That's one. That's one sport I I I would never diss because I don't. I, I I'm trying to get into it little by little. Trying to understand soccer, basically. I I really am. I really am for real. Yeah, number thirteen, Marvel Spider Man two. Spider Man is number thirteen. Wow. Number fourteen, one not Home World. Number fifteen, Mario Kart eight. That is a fun game. Mario number 15. Number 16. It went down to 16. Madden NFL 24 is number 16. Number 17, Rise of the Ronin. I'm telling y'all, man, get that game. And number 18, F124. That's 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 racing game. You see 2K no you see 2K is not in it. It's not even in the top 18. 2K is not even in the top 18. NBA 2K. That's sad. That is sad. I'm gonna say this, yo. EA Sports. I doubt if my I doubt if my word to EA Sports. 
Bring back live. Please. All of us is asking you, bring back NBA Live. Trust me, I will I will be I will be posting this list on my um TikTok account, username username um Sean Green80. I'm also this also will be on my YouTube shorts. Alright, for real case in case you want to take a look at it. For real. But this is but 2K is not even on this list. That is sad. And the sad thing is this. Number two is Super Mario Brothers. That's even like, yo. But in a way, as like I said earlier, in a way, I shouldn't really be I should I shouldn't really be surprised. It's Super Mario Brothers. It's Super Mario, especially it's Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, which that game is, oh my god. That game is tough. If you ain't played Paper Mario or something wrong, that game is who I remember playing that on GameCube. I never beat that damn game. I never did. That is one tough game. Paper Mario, Jesus Christ, that game was. <laughs> but I'm not surprised. I am not surprised, for real, for real. I really, really ain't really, really surprised, for real. Hey, hey, don't, hey, don't, hey, hey, don't forget to watch the home run derby, the home run derby tonight. Hey, my man, Pete Alonzo is going to win, for real. Hey, 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 also the All-Star game, oh, hey, and will be All-Star game is, 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 is tomorrow, basically, it's tomorrow on Fox. The, hey, if we can check that out, I will, but hey, it's going to be an interesting second half of the season, it's going to be very interesting, yo, it really is, I know it's the end, that NL, that NL wild card is going to be tight, very, very tight, it really is going to be tight. And it's gonna be tight. So is so. Hey, the AO man. <clears throat> AO man. AO. I'm not AO. We already know. Unless the Yankees improve their hitting, whatnot. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be Yankees gonna Yankees gonna get about wild card, which is sad. Which is sad one. Sad one. As, as, as if they improve. If they improve, basically what that they're hitting basically by on um, the All Star break. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's pretty hitting by All Star break for real. All right. Hey, thank you to my podcast. Podcast is available. I reach your podcast about Podbean, Spotify, most uh, Apple, Apple Podcasts, but also iHeartRadio, iHeartRadio. I'm live, basically, one night on my Twitch account, Sean Green Eight, all one word. I'm live on my YouTube channel, Sean Green Show. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I'm also live one night on my Instagram page, one night, Sean Forty Four Seventy Six. You all have a blessed, blessed day. Enjoy watching the Home Run Derby tonight at eight o'clock. Also enjoy watching um, Monday Night Raw. That should be good tonight too. Also, all right. You all have a blessed, blessed day. Thanks for listening, for watching. I really do appreciate it.